let us understand the formulas to calculate the relative risk and attributable risk. Relative risk and attributable risk are the measures of association in case of cohort study. Cohort study, we get the data on incidence because we start with exposed individuals and we follow them up. All right. So if this is the two by two table, what is the formula to calculate relative risk? Incidence among exposed divided by incidence among non-exposed. That is, out of the exposed individuals, how many are developing the disease? So, out of the A plus B, that is the exposed individuals, A are the individuals who are developing the disease. So, in the numerator, we put A divided by A plus B. Alright? Similarly, if you take the denominator, incidence among non-exposed. So, what is the incidence among non-exposed here? C divided by C plus D. C is the number of individuals who are developing the disease. This is in the non-exposed group. So, this is the formula to calculate relative risk. Moving on to the formula for attributable risk, this is given by the formula A divided by A plus B minus C divided by C plus D. That is incidence among exposed minus incidence among non-exposed. So, how do we interpret relative risk and attributable risk? If the relative risk is 5 between smoking and lung cancer, we can say that smokers are at 5 times higher risk of developing lung cancer compared to non-smokers. And Attributable risk, if it is around 80%, we can say that 80% of the lung cancer is due to smoking. 